Hello and welcome to Simply Solo Playthroughs. Have you ever wondered what it's like for the police officers who are hostage negotiators? What does it take to talk them people out of things who really want to hurt other people? So, we're here. Let's get ready to play. So here we are, we have our abductor, Valerie Stone. This is abductor pack number seven. There are some cards which are going to have us pull these cards out. And these rival cards don't do anything good for us. Just saying. We have our tarot deck. The tarot deck will tell us when to play the rival cards. We have a normal tarot deck, so after we pull out a rival card, we're going to pull another tarot deck. So there's a lot going on within this. And one thing I like about with Van Ryder Games is they have this really cool. Valerie Stone graduated from the Academy of the same year as you. You were top of the class. She was number two. Although a decorated hostage negotiator and leading expert in the field, Valerie always felt overshadowed by your achievements. During a high-profile negotiation, she crumpled under pressure, resulting in the death of every hostage. Fired from her job and disgraced on the na national stage, Valerie and rationally blamed you for her downfall. Now she's taken her own hostages and is refusing to speak to anyone but you. You'll have to apply all of your wits and talk her down since she literally wrote the book. On hostage negotiation. This is definitely a difficult kind of situation. Here it is, you're actually going up against someone who knows the inside scoop. We start off every game, as we normally do, with our six starting cards. We have two additional cards. You and I were not the same. Choose a conversation card cost, remove Retrieve all cards with that cost and place them in the discard pile. Choose a name conversation card. Remove, retrieve all copies of the cards and that name the file. Make a rivalry roll. And we'll see what the rivalry roll is in a few minutes. Discard two revealed rival cards. That's a good thing. So we're going to have to see what we're going to do because... Those are both three cost cards, and we're going to definitely need those. She has two demands, a major demand and an escape demand. So we, of course, start with what are your demands? We roll two dice. We start at threat level of four. And that's a fail. Plus one. That gets us to five. We will do what are your demands again with different dice. Set those way away. Okay, so we have a success and a partial success. We will go on ahead and uh, keep the partial success as partial because we still get to reveal a demand. Spend three to concede during any conversation. Four, take up to two available conversation cards of your choice into your hand. Each cost, card must cost three or less. That's not necessarily bad. That is actually really good because we do have the minor extraction cards as well as the just stay calm cards. Okay, so we're going to. The question is, do we want to do a keep cool or small talk? We're going to do a small. No, we're going to do keep cool. And again, we have one, so we will go back down to four. We will keep cool again. And the reason for this is small talk, if there's no success, it ends the conversation. Just like that would have done. We will do small talk. Double success. This is really good. So we get up to plus three. That gets us to two. 
And we'll try it one more time. One success that gets us plus two. So we are at four. I am going to go with just stay calm and just stay calm. These go from the discard pile out. We don't get those this next turn. We go to the terror phase. A moment of weakness. Now that's an interesting start. That's better. Okay. We are going to play Just Stay Calm. We really need a success here, please. Double success is even better. Double success. All right, that's a minus two. Um, I am thinking that I do not want to play my second card. In case, yeah, I'm not going to play my second card. So I will go ahead and discard that. I do not have any conversation points. I get back my zero cost cards. We're on the terror phase. Terror card says, concede during any conversation for, ignore an N, remove the associated conversation card from the game. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. That's not necessarily bad, especially towards the end. Most of these I have found are in-game things that you want to do. So first thing we're going to do, what are your demands? Here we go. What are your demands? Come on, we need success. Okay, we have two partial success. And we're going to have to go on a definitely give up this card. And the keep cool, which is what I should have played first. Yes, I definitely should have played the keep cool first. But that's okay. We know what the second demand is. Spend two conversation points to concede during any conversation for gain X, where X equals the current threat level. You may immediately purchase any cards in the available area. Abductor escapes at the end of the conversation. So if it's high, it's worth buying cards immediately. And if it's at K, it is definitely worth buying. Okay. We're going to go on ahead and keep cool. <sighs> Minus one to the conversation. We're going to do just stay calm. And we're going to get new dice. The dice really, truly hate you in this game. Partial success. We will go on ahead and do this. That gets us down to one. So the good news, as long as she doesn't do anything mean, we'll be okay. We don't get to buy any conversation cards. So the bad news is we get two. The rival card. You think that will work on me. Draw one rival card. So this is a rival card. Don't fool yourself. I let them save you. So we do this card when a hostage is saved. So hostage is not saved, no effect. And we will eliminate one card of by name of whatever we roll. So that'll work. Okay. We also draw a... One is gone. Now this is why you keep your demands, demand, uh, you want the demands out right away. Second card, make a threat roll. I bet I get an extra one, I get three. So the good news is a hostage is going to escape. The bad news is we have a rivalry roll. We roll one die. 
and we lose a zero cost card. We are going to lose what are your demands. That's simple, easy enough to do. And that is the end of the phase. We get to repurchase. We're going to go with keep cool. We have one success, one partial. I will take the one success down to S. We will keep cool again. Double success. So we have plus one and we save a hostage, but we have a rival card. We roll one die. Four. A four or a five cost card. Yeah, this one. All right, okay, not so bad, not so bad. Whew. Now we're going ahead and do the small talk. Oh, I forgot. I have three on that keep cool. So I get one more. Okay, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, small talk. We have three dice. And we get one. So we get a plus two. We'll do small talk again. We get a double success. Plus three. One, two, three. Okay, so we go on ahead and we get to buy our cards and we get six. No. Two. We're going to go with just a few more and just stay calm. So that's a total of six. So the good news is we have the two rerolls. We're probably going to be hanging on to those. Unless we desperately need them. And we go to the terror deck. Terror deck says, draw one rival card. Whenever a hostage is killed. <sighs> wow. Okay. Oh, and we draw another. Great, we gotta make another one. That is a threat roll, so it's all three. We do get one, that's all that matters. We get one out, but we have to make another roll. Come on, six, three. A two or a three cost card, that's easy. You need to trust me. Okay, so we go to our turn, and we are going to just stay calm. So the good news, we have double success. Two, that means two more come out. So the good news is, we actually have a chance of winning this one. And we get to roll Four, we will take out minor extraction. Okay, we're going to do, we are going to play just a few more minutes. Double success, so that's a plus four. Good news. That means these guys are still intact. We go to our card buying phase. I get all my conversation cards back. So I can do, I only have four. I am going, this is really tempting. That gets everybody to surrender all at once. This card ends the game. This one can also end the game. Hey, okay, I'm going to take these two cards. I'm going to go for the two point cost cards because I am going to try to talk my way out of this. Now the good news is we have three dice. Oh, but it's not my turn yet. We go to the terror deck. If an escape demand has already been conceded, 
the abductor escapes. You may ignore the cost and penalty for conceding any escape demand in the next conversation. If you concede an escape demand, turn it on its side, leave it there, then shuffle this card remaining into the terror deck. This is not even worth conceding. Conceded abductor escapes. You may ignore the cost and penalty for conceding the escape demand in the next conversation. If you concede an escape demand, turn on side, leave it, then shuffle this card into the remaining red terror deck. So if I don't concede the demand, this card just goes away? I think so. I don't think it's going to matter because we're going to end it on this turn. So we have just stay calm. Yeah, we're going to do this. One fell swoop. Two successes. Here we come. Two successes it is. Yes. Okay, so we get the last one out. That also means Valerie concedes. She surrenders. Second command also Right? Yeah, he's out. Okay. So good news. This is a win. Uh, Valerie Stone is out. We have managed to uh, keep seven of the eight hostages alive, which is a really good, pretty darn good record. This was better than I thought it was going to be. Make sure you like and subscribe. Come back later and have an absolutely great day. And I'll see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe.